Well, well, I came on this idea of I'm on top of the world, meaning I'm... Uh, There's a title of this piece. Title of the piece and also title of the show. And that is concerning um, my feeling about how, you know, I'm uh, on top of the world as, like, number one consumer, number one, uh, you know, uh, military power, you know, number one in the world. So I, I, so I, I show some stealth fighters. I show some buildings. I'm trying to show height and above it all, kind of being above things, you know, either dropping bombs or surveil surveillance or certain things of that uh, nature. So, and again, I'm interested in color, mark making, you know, color relationships, those things. Kind of wanted this in the front, uh, so when people came, get the full frontal, well, not, not the full frontal, but when you walk through the door, I wanted uh, people to see me kind of uh, with a bucket, uh, kind of uh, letting all these warplanes out. I'm, culp I'm culpable. I'm uh, part of the, the situation. I don't feel like I'm making a statement where I'm critiquing others. I'm part of the, I think I'm part of the, part of this uh, you know, consumption of culture where I drive my car, I go to, uh, you know, restaurants, I, I eat too much. Yeah, I'm part, I'm part of this whole situation, I feel, so I want to represent myself in, in, this, in this as a consumer, as a representative of, of these uh, stealth fighters. If and you eat too much, it doesn't show. <laughs> well, I'm try well, hey, I could, uh, I could probably use, lose a couple LBs, or if you're in Europe, kilos, <laughs> okay? Yeah, and I also have fun. I like to have fun, so I like the paint. Yep. What happened to your music? Oh. It's coming up. <laughs> This is on plywood, yes. Plywood, lots of paint. There's actually a lot of layers in here, so it's, it's pretty thick. Maybe a quarter, half inch in certain places, with mostly paint. There are, there's some paper in here, but it's mostly paint. And I put eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper down, a few layers below, and I didn't like what was going on on the surface. So I ripped that paper off so I could play with some of the colors and shapes underneath. Turntable, kind of an abstract turntable, but this title of this piece is icebreaker and I'm kind of like trying to uh, break the ice a little bit maybe and so I have a little ice scraper right here. Oh, that's perfect. This is again on, on wallpaper and uh, this is how I kind of started the whole stealth fighter uh, kind of theme that's, that goes on, on on a lot of my paintings. The name of this piece is Searching, so it's, a, it's again, it's about reconnaissance, it's about observation. I think this would be a pencil, and I believe that might be a paint can, or I'm thinking about like uh, surveillance cameras, the city, war planes, and music. This is like an abstracted kind of, uh, um, you know, skyscraper. Collage elements, there are collage elements here. This is... Uh, I think a holder for some paint brushes I had that I painted over the top. Again, this is on wallpaper, lots of duct tape. I drew uh, with a pen on there, so there's a lot of different things going on. I'm trying to tell people don't worry about technique. You know, work hard. Jeez. So it's a double you entendre. A couple. You teach, right? I teach a couple classes. Yeah, I've taught. I taught painting last year at a community college, and now I'll be teaching art appreciation in the fall. So what do you tell your students? Uh, what is the main thing that they? Uh, Main thing that they have to do is work hard and uh, everything will shake out as it uh, will. But if they don't give up 
If they stay motivated, I feel uh, they, they can produce something of worth from themselves. And that's what I think art is really cool or interesting is that you, you, can, you can produce something from yourself rather than consume. I mean, you can, and you can also use materials uh, where you're not buying a lot of stuff. You're not actually, um, you know, you're not consuming materials to make something. You can make something from your studio clippings or, or the stuff on your floor or, you know, stuff you find in, in, in the dump. So. I feel like it's important for students to, to, to figure out that they can be creative and, cons and, and not have to sit in front of the TV or the, the, the internet and, and spend time consuming things. They can actually produce something of worth.